So guys, it's half past four in the morning and this is a noise that woke me up this morning and I thought I'd come outside, make a bit of an effort and let you listen to it too. Here we go. Guys, it's been absolutely lovely here. I've started up the old girl, it's time to go. Oh, but just beautiful. This is what I love about boating, just amazing. Oh, it's just been great. Yesterday morning though, a couple of boats went past a little bit too fast and I got unpinned, I didn't even notice. Some kind of boater pulled up and knocked on and, and gave me a hand pulling the boat in, mooring me back up, so thank you so much for that. So anyway, we're gonna go because I'm totally out of all my fresh foods. So we're gonna to move today and hopefully get some nice food from somewhere and find another equally nice spot. And we're off. Oh, bye bye. Just noticed a bin there, so I'm gonna just pull up here if I can and empty one of my bin bags. So this will be the first and the only time you'll ever see me jogging. I almost gave myself two black eyes. Bridge. My nan and granddad, they had a like a sort of small holding and um, they had beehives and fields. My friends are up there, used to play in the woods, just play, I'll show you mine if you show me yours and all that. Oh, to be a kid again and growing up in this, just fabulous. arrived at Salsford Tunnel now and you go through at half past the hour it's only 10 past now so I've got 20 minutes I'm going to nip inside and have a wee and get a drink no not rum time yet but yeah so that's the plan the thing is this tunnel as well it's got a kink it's a kinky tunnel yeah so guys this tunnel's only 120 foot long but it is kinky it's got a big kink in it and it's where the tunnel men back in the day when they were digging started one end and the other one started the other and then they didn't meet in the middle <laughs> so it's got a bit of a kink yeah it's awkward oh time is it it's nearly rum time but not yet look at that right down the middle straight through but if you look to the sides here of this tunnel entrance, look at the edges, you can see where boats have smacked a lot of it on the way in. Oh, I bet that was sore. going to moor here but I think I might head now through another tunnel so the thing is with this tunnel Barnton tunnel is again it's kinky but it's not timed so you need to just have a look and make sure now it's coming and then you can you can go through 
It's hard when you're on your own, you can't send someone to have a look. So sometimes I put my nose in and someone come in and shit myself and had to <laughs> get my revs on and come back. Yeah, there's uh, nothing coming, so we're clear to proceed. There's a really tight bend just around this corner which you really need to watch out for. You can't see if anything's coming so you just got to do it really slowly and make sure you just get yourself round okay. See, perfect! Woohoo! So I'm ready to moor up now. Them tunnels have tired me out. My concentration's gone now so I just want to get inside and settle with a nice large glass of something strong. So I'm all moored up now. Oh, I do need to replace that vinyl. It's so faded, it it's, makes me cringe every time I look at it. I don't like it. But I did watch a video with Narrowboat Will on his YouTube channel and he actually painted over his vinyl. So that might be something that I do. But anyway, I'm moored here now at Barnton. I don't know how long I'm going to stay for, maybe only one night. But there's a noisy road, which one way it's great because my mum and dad can visit and park nearby. But two, it's noisy. Anyway, what time is it? It's rump time! <laughs> So guys, this is John Robertson and he's just brought me a lovely bottle of Captain Morgan's Spice Gold Rum. So yeah, and you've got one for yourself, haven't you? I have, too so, true, yeah. Yes, I was thing... hoping you weren't in, then I could have two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him, but thank you so much. So we'll be uh, getting on with this later. Well, hey, I've had my hair cut. Yes, I know I might look a bugger, but I needed it cut in. It was desperate to be cut, and I just, it's gone dead, dead short. I've been scalped, but it means now I don't have to have it cut for ages, doesn't it? It's always a hassle. It's hard getting your hair cut when you're a continuous cruise and you're moving around all the time. And it all cut off, so it's going to make it easier. I can go another year now. I've just met one of my patrons. Yes, I've never met a patron before, and that's Barry Ortland. So, lovely to meet you, Barry. I didn't even know till I was going past your boat. So, thank you so much for your support. So, I've just pulled up here um, because I've met two of my friends all moored together. So, we've got Mark. Hi. <laughs> And Mark. I'm Mark on the slush boat. Mark's the slush boat. He's a, recently a new business. Yeah, how are you found it? So I've traded three times up to three days up to now up at Pennington Flash. So I'm a newbie. I'm, I'm a newbie and I'm just going about my thing. I'm winging it. I'm winging it as, as Heidi often says. Yeah. So I've just had a lovely time just catching up. Mark has a slush boat. He's just started it. New trader. Yeah, lovely, lovely guy. So I'm going to go now and get some water and also want to look in my weed hatch. I think I've got some around my prop. Yeah, nothing around it at all. So I'm gonna go in now and wash all this pee and duck poo, fish, jism and everything off my arm now. Just wanna give a quick shout out to Bob Naismith and Gary and Keith Ventures for becoming supporters of the channel via Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. I've been all the way down there over an hour just to turn around to come all the way back to where I started but I'm hoping to trade this weekend at Anderton 
I haven't traded properly as a pirate boat this year yet. I have my little badge business and that keeps me sort of going with my food and that. But I do need to trade to the pirate boat because I need to make a little bit of money now because I want to buy some more paint. I'd like to paint my roof and do things. So I need to earn a little bit more money. So I'm hoping to trade. It all depends if I can get in. That's the thing. It's Friday afternoon and you never know if you're going to get space, but it's only 48 hours. But yeah, it'd be good to get back into the pirating, plundering and pillaging. I did have a fantastic time at the Salt Barge pub. I managed to get some gunnels painted. I painted down the, the one side. It'll be the opposite side when we get there, which will be good because we can get that done. But I didn't vlog it, but I used that non-slip paint that I got from Midland Chandler's and got myself a coat under that. So that's looking better. The other thing I did is I painted the top of my hatch in that non-slip stuff, which wasn't, wasn't a very good idea. Because I stand on it to get out onto the locks and that, and I thought, oh, I'll paint that in that because it needs a coat of paint. Anyway, it looks shite. Anyway, you live and learn, don't you? As I said, don't ever follow me for DIY advice, ever. I'm terrible. So it has been really, really lovely being in my home area and catching up with my family and friends. Oh, I absolutely love it. And even if it's just for a few weeks, we went in the Salt Wars pub the other night where I was moored on a Sunday night, live music, it's fantastic in there. And we had a great time, went with a load of the boaters. I'll show you a little bit of that now. And then also the following night, I went to my friend's boat and we all went round there and that was a fantastic night as well, just catching up. Hey, we're getting a photo. Are we all ready? We're all ready. Say, say cheers. Cheers. Yeah, so it's been a productive few days there. Bit of painting, bit of socialising. Yes, yeah, so I'm hoping now to get in at Anderton. We'll see. Let's, uh, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. So I've got myself all moored up, got a space. I can't believe it, it's quite empty. Yeah, so uh, I've got a space straight away, which is fantastic. So because I'm on my own now, I need to work out how I can set up on my own. The way I'm gonna do it is just get a couple of shelves out and put a little display in the front of my boat. You find your ways of working, don't you? And I've just got to old tower did things. And yeah, we'll have it sorted, it'll be fine. So guys, excuse the hat, it's a little bit squashed, but it's the first weekend trading this year. I normally do this every weekend, normally between Easter and October. However, this year has been a bit of a late start for me. But I'm here now at Anderton this weekend. And I've uh, got some visitors as well. Let me show you these visitors. We've got the Northern Narrowboaters. Have you ever met them? She's got her own vlog. They're off their heads, honestly. So I'll introduce you to them now. So we've got the Northern Narrowboaters here. We've got Ellen, who's mad as a box of frogs. <laughs> Hello, are you all right? I'm shy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We're also more next to the slush boat, and that's run by Mark. Kim. Hey! Naughty. Lovely babies, though. Weather's absolutely terrible, but what has brightened up my day is Paul and Catherine turning up and giving me a bottle of rum. Here they are. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, so they've come. And they, these guys have just done the Cheshire Ring on a hire boat. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> We've got a special visitor now. A special little visitor, I'll show you. Am I the little visitor? Yeah, say hello, Jack. Hello. 
And here's Pudding. Oh, for those that remember the earlier videos, Pudding was the star of the show. Well, he still is. Uh, and he's nearly 13 now, and he's not very good on his back legs. So we have to do loads of exercises. He's got wheels as well. And he also has his little push chair when he gets too tired. But he's a gorgeous, gorgeous little boy. So I was giving you a little bit of a Pudding update. And here he is. And then he's a bit knackered now, so he's gone to have a little sleep. Hey, <laughs> wow, should I say. So it's been my first weekend trading this weekend and it's been crap. Yeah, the weather's just been awful. I had to, it rained all this morning. I had to get my plastic covers down and it's cold, nipples like bullets. So it's not been a, a good productive weekend, but it has in a way because it's given me a chance to have a good practice, see what works for me setting up on my own and everything. So yeah, so uh, yeah, one of them weekends, but I've made enough for a couple of beers in the pub which I'm going to go to tonight. <laughs> yeah, I've earned it. I have, I have. So yeah, so I just thought I'd let you know how my trading weekend went and it was pants. This is the downside of trading the outdoors is it's all weather dependent because as soon as it starts peeing down, everyone just goes to the pub. So I might not have done much trading this weekend, but I've just had some other visitors and they've got me this. I wonder what this is. What do you think it is? It's from Debbie and Alan and here they are. Hi. Yeah, Debbie and Alan. <laughs> And they have a lovely boat as well. I met these guys originally in Hurlston Locks last year and they've not long had their boat. So it's lovely to meet them again. And yeah, and thanks for whatever's in here. Anyway, I'm off now to meet some boating friends and my mum and dad in the pub. So we only had a couple in the pub but I'm back home now and look it might not have been a great weekend trading but look at this this makes up for it more than anything two bottles of rum so I'm going to leave the video there guys but I hope you've enjoyed it but before I go a big shout out to this week's pirate crew we've got Pam Janice Totham Davis, Katrine Bohr, Jim McIntosh, Liz Stephen, Captain Glenn, Captain Morgan, Jacqueline and Stee, Fishless Clive, Alan Harbit, Ralph Wood, Karen Bigler, Bev Pearson, Norman Dean III, Peter and Brenda and Carl Creed. Also a massive shout out to my Patreons. Thank you so much for your support guys. I really do appreciate it. Anyway guys, that's it. Please stay safe, take care and I'll see you next time.